This is Mission Control Houston. The crew of Expedition 31 has had a very busy week so far on board the orbiting complex. They've had quite a bit of science and uh, other mechanical work on board. There's been dozens of experiments this week, including uh, studying some fundamental physics. The crew took a look at uh, what's called electrostatic interaction between electrically charged particles up in uh, zero gravity. They also took a look at uh, the gas-liquid phase separation that occurs on what's called fine dispersion particles. The crew also worked on one of the facility racks that is inside the Kibo Laboratory. It's called the Fluid Physics Experiment Facility. This examines how fluids behave up there uh, in the microgravity environment. That's going to be important for uh, future spacecraft design as well as uh, implications here on Earth. The crew also looked at how jet engine exhaust interacts with the upper reaches of the atmosphere. They also studied quite a bit about how the human body behaves in space. It's one of the main benefits of the space station as we take a look at uh, venturing further on to Mars and to an asteroid one of these days. The crew worked on something called the Integrated Cardiovascular Ambulatory Monitoring Experiment. This is where each of the crew members, uh, depending on who is the subject of the experiment, uh, wears a blood pressure uh, check that uh, happens over the course of 24 hours. They also uh, do something that's uh, very similar to what you find here on Earth, which is an EKG machine. It measures the output of the heart. All of that determines how the crew's cardiovascular system reacts to being up there on board the complex for up to six months. The crew also worked with something called the lower body negative pressure device. This is a pair of pants that they put on that basically decreases, decreases pressure. It draws blood down from the head. It sort of reenacts what happens to them whenever they land on Earth. And it studies uh, the effects that gravity has on the crew members' bodies after uh, they've been up in space for an extended period of time. The crew also spent some time studying fire up in space. Fire behaves completely differently up in space in the vacuum and the uh, absence of gravity than it does here on the ground. The crew worked on a device called the Combustion Integrated Rack, which uh, tests different fuels and finds out how they combust. And the crew spent a significant amount of time working on something called BAS. This is burning and suppression of solids. This takes a look at how flames burn up in space. It's uh, quite a bit different whenever you put out a fire up in space versus here on Earth. Typically what happens here on the ground, you would aim the fire extinguisher or the suppressant at the base of the flame. This is because that is where the flame is the most stable. It's where the flame is basically born, where the uh, oxygen and the air enters the flame and sort of creates it. But of course up in space you don't have that. So the Bass experiment takes a look at how the fire behaves and how uh, someone would put out that fire uh, up in space. The crew also worked on what's called the Amin swing bed. This is a prototype test object for the Orion spacecraft, which is the spacecraft that NASA is building to take us to an asteroid and onto Mars. Size is key whenever it comes to Orion, so all the different environmental systems inside Orion need to be small, compact, and efficient. This Amin swing bed is a way to test the carbon dioxide removal assembly that will go on Orion up on board the space station. The space station itself actually has a a couple of different systems that scrub out the carbon dioxide, including one in the Destiny Laboratory, one in the Tranquility Module. Uh, those are fairly large in size. They work very efficiently. But uh, the space station provides an opportunity to test out new equipment and uh, new devices that will go on Orion. And three out of the six crew members are turning their attention toward their trip home, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. Andre Kuypers, Oleg Koninenko, and Don Pettit getting ready to wrap up. 193 days in space, 191 of those aboard the orbiting complex. They've been getting themselves and their belongings that are coming home, as well as their spacecraft ready for the landing, which is at 3.15 a.m. Central Time on Sunday, July 1st. They've been packing it full of cargo that's going to come home. And the three of those also checked out their seat liners. Uh, this is the chairs that they sit in whenever they come back home. Those are form-fitted to each one of the crew members. But because the human body gets a little bit taller in space, because gravity is not pulling down on your muscles and bones, they have to check out the seats and uh, get in them to make sure that they still fit. Everything checked out according to plan, and these three crew members are getting ready to uh, wrap up their time as part of Expedition 31. So once again, landing scheduled for 3.15 a.m. Central Time, Sunday, July 1st. That'll be at 4.15 a.m. Eastern Time. Of course, we will have live coverage here on NASA Television.